Hello, hello, good afternoon, or good evening, or good morning, um, whatever it is, wherever you are. I got off to a bit of a late start today, I've kind of had a lazy morning, but, um, I have something this evening, like a event that I have to go to, um, but I still really wanted to play, um, a nice relaxing game for a little while before then, so I'll be on for a couple of hours, um, I think I probably have three, a little less than three-ish, um, yeah, so we're gonna play. Um, I thought about doing Stardew today, um, but honestly, I don't, I don't think I've talked about this before, but the reason why I haven't been streaming Stardew as much is because of all the controversy, <laughs> you know, I don't want to get too deeply into it, but as somebody who, um, identifies as non-binary, it just kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Um, it, I'm not somebody who cares a lot about my gender <laughs> or sexuality or any of that. Like, it's not, um, they're not big parts of how I identify or anything. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's difficult to think that, um, ooh, why is shield mode still on? Okay, should be fine now. Um, wait, no, shield mode. Shield mode, follow this along, that's weird. Okay. Oh, it's because Sari bot usually comes in and does stuff, but it didn't this time. Hmm. I don't know what happened to it. Good. Odd. Okay. Well, don't know what's going on. It should be fine now. Anyways, um, just even though it's not super important to me. Um, it's something that, as somebody who teaches young people um, where that stuff is really important to them, I don't know, I, I just feel like why wouldn't you be able to come out and say something, anything about it? And I think it's, um, it's a very low bar, <clears throat> sorry, to expect even a statement of, hey, it's really not cool to say or do these things on my behalf whether you think it's really on my behalf or not like please stop even if there's logistical reasons as to why um there can't be pronouns added and it's not something that matters to me like I, it doesn't when i'm playing a game um i'm not like stardew i'm not necessarily self-inserting so to me it doesn't matter but i don't know just the fact that not a single statement is being made at all one way or the other is not I don't know, it doesn't make me feel great. Anyway, so that's why I haven't been streaming um, Stardew in recent weeks, and I don't- I want to go back to it. It is a big comfort game for me, but at the same time, it's- I feel like for me to play it and pretend like none of that stuff is happening is kind of, um, I don't know. It, it, it makes me uncomfortable, so I'm not playing that, but luckily I have Sunhaven, which is to me, even better. Sunhaven is my favorite, and so that's what I'm gonna play today instead, because it gives off a lot of the same vibes, um, but I don't have to worry about, like, feeling unseen and unheard or any of those things, you know, and I don't know what his intentions are, but for everyone's sake, I kind of hope he does or says something, you know. Um, so I don't know, I can't, I don't, anticipate going back to Stardew soon, but it all kind of depends, you know, on all of that. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think I'm speaking very well, but I just wanted to give an explanation because I know that's why a lot of people started watching me in the first place, was because of all the Stardew I was playing and wanted to explain why I can't really do that anymore. Or not any, like, not forever, but for the for the future until something is done. Okay. Wait. 
Some hate it. which I'm excited for the upcoming 1.4 patch for Sunhaven because they have said that um, that's when the Switch Switch version is coming, right? Oh, that's pretty funny. Oops. Ah. Oh dear. Well, um, what? Okay. Oh, that was... <laughs> Ew. Okay, let me see what happened. Um, well, I uploaded... I did this new mod that was supposed to change the title menu, but that did not happen. What the heck is this? Hmm. Okay. Let me run it again. I don't know what... It's like actually a jump scare. <laughs> like, I was not expecting that to happen. Ah, okay. Try that again. What the heck? Rude. I just wanted a nice mod that would make the main menu have this, like. Oh, that kind of irritates me. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know why. You know what? Alright, I'm just going to just delete the entire mod because clearly something is going wrong. Delete that. Delete that. Where is the... Where is it? Delete that. There's something in here. Well, I wish I could go back to it. Uh, I guess it's fine. Um, hang on, let me find the custom textures mod and fix that. It's annoying. Okay. Now. Wonder if somebody no, that doesn't help. Hmm. There's a whole folder for it for some reason. Eleven twenty three, that's not it. Why not? Huh. I'll just save that. Okay. Should be okay now. Sheesh. Third time is the charm. Third time is the charm. What the heck? Okay, there we go. Uh, goodness. Did not need to get jump scared like that. Can't even remember the time I got last time I got Rick rolled. That's uh -huh. Ugh. okay, come on. Load in. Black screen. Oh. That was the map. Aha. Got it. Oh, hello. Since you've been fishing quite a bit, I wanted to. I don't remember any of the voices I used for these characters before. It's been a minute. 
It's a small fishing net. It'll this will catch fish for you even when you're not around. Thanks, Peter. You can cast nets like this into the waters on your farm. Though before you can do that, you'll also need a net permit. Don't worry, I've actually brought you one. Here, take it. Why do I need a permit to fish with a net? Net fishing is so effective that it has to be regulated to make sure no one is overfishing. Once you activate that permit, all you have to do is place it right in the water and check back later. Awesome, how do I get more nets? You can stop by my shop if you ever want more nets. I also sell permit upgrades too. Also, I think I can craft them. Just remember, you can only use nets on your farm. Good luck with your angling, he made. Cool. T.Y. Greetings, farmer. Just wanted to write you and say... Oh, this is the little office lady. Thanks for being such a positive face around town. I really love our little meetings, and you've become a real beacon of good vibes. I'm glad to call you a friend. I must be going, so I'll end this message before I start to ramble. Thanks, Camilla. Camilla? Camilla? Ooh, cow. We have food somewhere. Here we go. There. Oh no. I need to do that. Okay. There's the chicken. Cool. I don't remember what I was doing here. I think I have enough flour. Can I make a cake mix? Make one cake mix a day. Cake mix. Hmm. Oh, I can make pie. Need more sugar and eggs. Making the sugar cane now. Okay, well, I don't have any of that stuff. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. I need another crate for all of this stuff. Alright, well. One thing at a time. I think I can make a refrigerator. Yay. Make a refrigerator with a sapphire, right? So. Um. I don't have any other seeds. Okay, I'll get all that. Do-do-do-do. And turn up the music a little bit. Okay, I think that's good. Ugh. Like, time is just passing by so quickly because... I can't help but feel like the school year just started, but tomorrow it's over. Or not tomorrow, this next week it's over. went by so quickly so far away okay um hmm extra animal product good morning how are you Oh, <laughs> it's probably true. At least I'm playing something nice and quiet and slow, and you can watch until your eyes start to get a little tired, and then you can go to sleep. Chop this down. <clears throat> oh, I still have a rusty axe, huh? Ah, okay. That's good. So then whenever you're ready, you can just roll over and go to sleep. 
I have to go mining again soon. Okay. One more. So okay. this stuff has um and some wheat, talk to Ann, iron bar. Oh, is it really? Oh, I see what happened. Haha. <laughs> I forgot that I was in studio mode, so I moved it and then I forgot to hit the button to actually move it. There it goes. <laughs> Completely forgot a customer's order today. They came by last night to place the order for this morning and uh, I guess I didn't write it down or something. I was making breakfast for the girls when they came in. Then I remembered it all at once and my heart just sank. You were taking care of your sisters first, it sounds right to me. I guess you're right. At least Emma and Elizabeth are taken care of. Sometimes I need a reminder about what's important. Thanks, Hime. How about you take a nice walk today? That might be the right idea. Walking makes me breathe. I mean, I'm always breathing. Everyone breathes. But walking breathing is different from regular breathing, you know? I, if it, If it works for you, then do it. You're right, Hime. I think I'll go take my walk now. Um, don't have anything to give you. See ya. Hello again, nya? What's up? Did you say nya? Nya, that's right. Haven't you met a cat like me before? Don't tell me I'm your first, nya. Oh my goodness. Then what do you think of my ears? They look fluffy and cute. Nya, you really mean it? Just don't stare too long, okay? Oh god. Is she self-aware? What is it? What was it that you do here, cutie? Kitty? Cutie. Kitty? Oops. I run the pet store, of course. That makes a lot of sense. Not only that, I take care of all the animals in Sunhaven Town. I even sell animals you could use on your farm. See ya. It sounds like it. Or I think he just got nervous. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Beep, 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 beep. I guess I'll do... I'll talk to Rosa really quick. And then, talk to Anne. Alright, take me to Elios. Alright, you know how this goes, Hime. Yes, I do. Last you're here, Hime. My suspicions were correct. A powerful spell has been cast over monster folk city of Withergate, creating an everlasting darkness. The spell prevents my entry into the city, and at its source is the moon dragon, Dinus. Dinus conceals himself behind the safety of his spell while the darkness spreads over our world. If this spell reaches us, Sunhaven will be shrouded in eternal darkness. Yeah, it is kind of funny in general, like, like the fact that Goofy has a dog, you know? Just a little... Hmm. <laughs> like, is, should, is it okay, you know? Hime, I believe you have come to Sunhaven for a reason. I gave you my blessing because I sensed a greater power within you. Your power and wit is the should be are the key, right? Because it's two things. Uh, the, the, are the key to our success. As I myself cannot confront Dinus, it is you who must stop his dark magic, Hime. I realize I am asking you to walk a dangerous path. You need not walk it alone. For guidance, travel west to the elven city Nelvari and find the world dragon Nivara. I know that many know the elven city as no more than a mere myth, but it is as real as the dirt beneath your feet. Gaining entry will be difficult, for the path to Nelvari lies deep in the western forest, and the Nelvari elves keep it hidden from those they do not consider a friend. How you can prove your friendship to the elves of Nelvari, I do not know. Culture is sacred to the Nelvarians. Perhaps learning more about the elves and their history could provide insight to gaining their trust. I'm an elf. 
I too have some teachings that will better prepare you to face Dynas. However, you will need to grow in strength before training with me. Ultimately, it is up to you to decide which path to take, but be warned, facing Dynas in your current state will be quite dangerous. I suggest that you train with Nivara and myself before confronting the Moon Dragon, but of course, this is your journey. Go now, prepare yourself. You must face Dynas and save Sunhaven from a dark fate. Because he has to protect Sunhaven. He can't leave. And also, because if he solved it, we would have no story. <laughs> Alright. Wish when... 25, 5, 30. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey. Do you like delivering mail? No wonder you're a great curry. You have a great attitude. Oh, it's Anne. Hey, Anne. Hmm, you actually went and harvested all that wheat? I was only being playful when I told you to do that, but I see you're pretty serious about this farming business. Speaking of business, I have some of my own to tend to, so I'll cut the congratulations short. Don't be a stranger, though. Maybe you and I can work together sometime, eh? See ya. Ooh. Farming is cute. Oh, free animal food. That's a nice one. Alright. I need to go buy some more. Ooh, you've got a quest. Is it that flower one? How can I help? Oh, cookies. What? I don't have any cookies now? I do. I do have cookies. Bring them to my desk in the library. Okay, I guess I just had to walk away a little bit here. There you go. Oh, it's Catherine. Spring is a great time to search for all the herbs I'll need for the year. I dry them so they'll last. See ya. All right, I need to buy some beets. Oh, people around town say that you're a helpful neighbor. Want to prove it? You sent me that nice letter. Prove it how? I'm craving fish for dinner, but I won't have time to stop by the store today. Besides, fresh fish is way better than store bought. You're literally sitting in the store right now. Oh, sea bass. I have sea bass. Dang it, I put it in the... Uh, I put it into the box, but I have it. Okay. Give it to you later. Okay. I can only make these in the spring, so I have to grow some now. I wasn't saving money for some reason that I no longer remembered. <laughs> Alright, well, let me Ooh. get all those. I have the sea bass. I have the iron bar for that other thing, too. Whee! Tomato. Any more fertilizer? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, I do. Growth speed. Yeah. Need earth fertilizer. fertilizer for this. Okay, now I keep watering. More cinnaberries. Okay. 
I guess I might as well do the red ones. No point in hoarding it. Alright. Cool. Alrighty. This way. Need one of these. Hmm. Cake pop. Hmm. Seems like a waste. Oh, I need more sugar. Okay. I'll just hold on to this for now. renovations I get look cute okay let's see um we really need another chest which I think hmm oh mm, the sea bass I guess so. That's nice. No, I really need to make a refrigerator, so I'll wait. Um, I don't want another refrigerator I can make. These materials. I guess not. Okay. Well, it's magic. Um, I guess I'll go mining. Look at all this junk. treasure chest. Even with the fridge, I think I'll still need multiple chests anyways. To be realistic. Otherwise I'll go mining, but then my inventory will fill up, so it'll all be for nothing anyways. Alright. Alrighty. Okay, so I want all the organic materials in one treasure box and all the inorganic materials in another one. that one because it needs to go in the aquarium. Everything else I'll leave there. Cool. Much better. Hmm. Okay. Do some mining and then I'll come back and do these other things. St main story quest is only marginally important. I got, I got stuff to do. Okay. 
Yep. Alright, off we go. Yeah, I'm that madman who goes mining at 5.30. <laughs> I need some coffee. On this floor. See anything? Nope, no copper, not a single bit. All right, get this money. Oh I get oh I got bonus farming experience today, no wonder. Alright, well, let's go. Oh, yay, good. Copper as well. keys but mainly I really want the copper so I can make my refrigerator the aesthetic of my actual kitchen see if there's anything on this side oh good some sapphires Quite a few, actually. Ow. Alright. Yeah, extra bars with the furnace? That sounds great. I need two more keys because I only bought two and used them both. So, two more keys. Then I can finally move on. Oops. Shouldn't have been possible, but cool. the mining music in this game so much. Just the music in this game in general is really nice, but like, it's relaxing being in the mine because the BGM really, you know, it's nice. Nope, 
some PM. A little bit of love. Ooh, fire crystal. Nice chunk of copper. Ow. I have wings. I should be able to hover above the lava. Like this is this is fun. All right, let's get let's get out of before I pass out. On, sheepy. Let's go, sheepy. Okay, I can make it. I can make it. Oof, made it. Oh, there's another treasure chest here. Okay, I'll put some of my wardrobe items in there. You sleep straight through the night. clean up the beach a little bit. Just sad. Ah, clean up the beach. Nice to decorate it later, so be sad if my beach looks all dirty and This is strong enough to get rid of these. Okay, go. Come on. Okay. Takes a million years, though. something. Come on. Oops. There we go. This game is pretty forgiving. It won't let me accidentally hoe my vegetables or what have you. Ooh. Do I need these? Nope. Alright, 
let's water these veggies. And we gotta feed the animals. Oops, there we go. Okay. Watering my plants on this Saturday afternoon. Well, it's Thursday morning in the game, I suppose. Wait to cut down these hardwood stumps, they're so in the way. Okay. Put that all squared away. Oof. Makes it a little easier to get around with these gone. Uh oh, it's a leaf blower outside. At least it doesn't get picked up by my mic, but it's very annoying to me. Although I think if I talk, the mic will pick it up. Get rid of these, yay. All that for five copper pieces. Okay. Have butter and dough to make a pie. One more for cake mix. Okay. Well, finally, let me make the refrigerator. Refrigerator! Okay. I wonder if I'll decorate my house. Let's get this, let's get this mushy chest and finally decorate my house a tad. I gotta go all cottage core. Look at the end, this cute elf. Ooh. Speaking of which, while well, we decorate the inside of the house, why don't we clean up the outside a little? A mushroom frog. Uh, is that a bed? It is a bed. Oh, it's huge. Oh, bookshelves in the way. Okay.
good episodes. There we go. That's fine, okay. Um Ooh. Mushroom table. Oh, these are so cute. Okay, I need my treasure chest. I picked up the bookshelf. Oh, cute. Okay. Okay. There's my regular bed, which I kind of want to sell, but I'll deal with that later. Um. End table. The nightstand, I guess. Okay. Oh, there's the cute clothes, but I need the treasure chest. Let's put that down for now. No, I need the treasure chest. chest. Good. Alright, let me put some of this stuff. So cute. Um, ooh, those are cute too. Oh, cute. Okay. Well, I'm trying to put all these clothes away. so cute. And I want to go through these mushroomy clothes and wear them. It really goes with the aesthetic. But... Don't tell me all these things are going to take up a whole box. Okay, I think I finally got everything. Alright, um... Oh, that one can go around the farm. Oh, oh, there was another dress. Okay. Is that it? Did I get everything? Okay, let me put this guy outside. That's cute. Okay. Then, did I get everything? There's not anything secretly hidden here. Okay. Counter. Okay. Okay, starting to look cuter. Where's the. What do I do with those mushroom decorations? Why don't I put them in the box? Okay, there. These lamps? No. Just put Dude. to do with the rest of this stuff. Don't know that I need quite that many. Okay. 
Ooh, what to wear. Oh, these are all so cute. Okay. Um. The crop sweater. Mushroom dress. The froggy dress. These are so cute. Okay. Um. Let's see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That is cute, even though it hides my little horns. Okay, what? That's so cute. Okay, um, here's my original dress. I just took it off and put it- there it is. And then... Yeah, I think that suits a little bit better. Hat is cute, but is it too much? <laughs> cute. Okay, I kind of like the little witch hat though. Ooh, vest dress. This dress is cute. That's actually so adorable. And look at my little mushroom house. Okay. Let me sell these things off. That's... Okay, that'll take a screenshot. Ah, uh, cute. Okay. All right. Eee! So cute little mushroom ghost thing. Oh, didn't get to see what this mount looks like. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Okay, that's too adorable. Okay. I appreciate all the hard coding that goes into making each of these mounts so different, like animation wise, you know? That is cute. Mm -hmm. Did I. Nope, I need one of those for the bundle. Apparently, I need this for the bundle. This for the bundle. Huh. Uh Okay. Okay, I think that's all of those things. Oh wait, no, I need a little bit these two. Cool. Um let me sell some of this junk. Need two more keys. Yep, and then I'm done with the copper keys. All right. I'll start putting all these other ingredients in the refrigerator now. Already 6 30. Decorating is hard work. Alright. Time does the library close? Oops. Alrighty. Say that so much. Alrighty, okay. Let's go. This is so cute. Bouncy bounce. Boing, 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 boing.
I will need. I just gotta drop all this stuff. if I got any rewards for donating. Oh yay! Weed seeds! Cheetos. Oh cool, okay. I'll be able to grow lots of wheat. Okay. Uh, this library closed. Shoot. Oh. Maybe not. Okay, she wants my permission to read this tome. This quest is one of my least favorites in this game because it gets extremely tedious. A lot of back and forth, but I understand, like, you're unlocking something big and I get it. It's just, I feel like compared to the rest of the game, it's a bit out of place just because it's so tedious. Oh, the Sun Dragon has tasked you with discovering a path to Nelvari that is extraordinary, to say the least. I know if anyone is up to such a task, though, it must be you. In other words, I am happy to offer everything in my power as Archmaid and as a friend to help you. As for the book you're looking for, it is an ancient artifact of Sunhavens that is generally off-limits. However, since Elios has given you this task, I will grant you access. Just on, on just one condition, however. The text is so old and its pages are so fragile that it isn't safe to handle with your bare hands. To avoid damaging it, I request you use a special pair of delicate silk gloves to protect the pages. This precaution might sound silly, but it's only in order to protect one of Sunhaven's oldest and most invaluable texts. Don't worry, you should have no problem crafting a pair at a loom. Once you bring a man to the appropriate pair of gloves, you are free to view the Nelvari text as you please. Alright. Oh, Claude. Hello, Hime. Are you still getting used to Sunhaven? It takes some time. Were you born in this town, Claude? I lived in another city for a while. I actually lived most of my life there. More recently, though, I moved here to Sunhaven. You mean the Great City, right? Yeah, the Great City. Are you worried about Sunhaven? Why would I be? If the town goes under, I'll just move away. What's there to worry about? But what about the people in town? I guess I see your point. The people have been good to me here, but that doesn't mean I can change anything. See ya. Foreshadowing. Where's Camilla anyway? Oh, she's up there. This mount is so cute. Almost too cute. There you go. Give me some farming XP. Frog. <laughs> Speak to frog. Frog. <laughs> Bedtime for the pets. What about the ones that are nocturnal? Boing, boing. Oh, that sound effect is so satisfying. Um, why? Okay. I bring Clive his the iron bar so that I can use his wagon. So might as well do that now. It'll be able to bring me back to town anyways. Ooh, hello, Warnhart. Hey, he may having fun yet? There's always something to do here. I spend a lot of time just exploring the town, when I'm not working, of course. Do you have any hobbies just for fun? I like cooking big meals for myself, if you count that. I usually make too much, though. Say, I should give you some leftovers the next time I cook. That sounds great. I bet you're a fantastic cook. Hey, don't take my word for it. Bring me some potatoes and I'll make you a great egg hash. Do you have a favorite spot around town? I just love the windmills on the way to the beach. You've seen them by now, right? Try this. Lie in the grass and watch the windmills spin against the sky. Without fail, it always takes my mind away. The way they spin in unison is mesmerizing. I wonder, how do they do that? I'll have to try it. Just be careful not to get sunburned. I fell asleep there, out there once and came back looking like Peter's pet crab. See ya. Okay. Apples. 
Hey, new neighbor, I want you to know that I've got your back. Do you always carry a bow with you? Of course, I have to be prepared, you know. Not everyone in this town knows their way around a weapon, so it'll be up to us leaders to protect them in an emergency. What kind of emergency are you expecting? I'm not expecting any one emergency, but I'm prepared for all emergencies. What do you do here? I'm a hunter, so I'm always out in the wilderness. You have to watch your back out there or something na nasty might sneak up on you. Sounds tricky. You must be very skilled. You're sharp. My skills are unmatched. Except by me. Alright. Ooh, stuff. Ow. Yeah, I need more of that. Come on, frog. more strawberries. You can't get me. Here you go, Clive. Hmm? Here's an iron bar. Yup, this is iron. Should work good. So the taxi. Give Clive a minute, would you? Alright, job's done. Wheel is as good as new. So does the taxi work now? I reckon the taxi is up and running. Where will your taxi take me? To Sunhaven, or here. Neat! Uh-huh. So you heading into Sunhaven? Not right now. Works for Clive. Thanks. Ooh, there's fishing. Yes. Oh, what? Oh, great. I'll catch one more and then I'll go home. Nice. Average mouth bass. All right, Clive. Yes, please. Cool. Whee! Oh, I got that 20 weed and I didn't plant any of it. Oh, well. I'll plant it tomorrow. Let's get my cute little house! Okie dokie. Easier to keep it clean a little bit at a time. If only I could be that diligent in real life.
Okay, how the food? Oh. Animal food. Okay. Oh, where's all the twenty wheat is a lot. Nice chunk. Average mouth bass. We didn't actually have to fish it, I just got it from doing absolutely nothing. Must be nice. Okay. So cute. Need to really clean up this area. Should go mining, get more metal so I can upgrade my axe, because this is a. Uh... This is rough. Okay. I need to make that. Okay. Um. was making dough. Where'd all the dough go? Weird. Hmm. Okay. Put this in the fridge. that. To the museum to drop off that one extra kale or whatever that I needed, and then it's a mining day. Hey man, let me ask you something. Does this hat make my ears look big? You know what? Forget I asked. Big ears just means better hearing, right? Music must sound amazing. Oh, that is true. I absolutely love listening to the piano. Sometimes, though, I just need to hear something with energy. That's when I reach for my Gavin Knapp record. They play guitar better than anyone I've ever heard. Never knew you had such great musical taste. Actually, I never listened to music that much before I had a conversation with Claude about it. No, really, a full conversation. Anyway, I bumped into him outside the record store, and he opened me up to the world of music. Now I go to the record store every week. Actually, I can't tell if those are your real ears or if that's the hat. At least you asked. Too many people just reach up and yank on them. It hurts. Oh, and I suppose that answers your question. Yes, these are my ears. Please don't pull on them. I've never ra met a rabbit Amari before. I'm happy to be your first. And yes, I have very, very good hearing. I know you didn't ask, but I don't need to be a witch to see what you were about to. See ya. Catherine is cute. Oh, boy. There are times when I look over Sunhaven and remember that I am in charge. As a young girl, I never would have imagined it. So you were born in Sunhaven? Yes, I'm proudly native to Sunhaven. I was raised here by my grandparents. I would not have gained control over my magic as a child without grandfather. Now I think about him whenever I cast a spell. In that way, I keep his memory alive. Either you're completely out of touch with your emotions, or you've never lost anyone important. For your sake, I hope it's the latter. Oh, I didn't even see what I chose. I choose something rude. Oops. 
You'd be an excellent teacher. Thank you, Hime. I think so, too. Oh, and then I could leave stamps on students' homework. Stamps with sayings such as, You're on fire and hot stuff. All right, then it's settled. I would be a teacher, if only for the fun stamps. I mean to say something rude. I'm doing some cookies. I suppose I can't turn down the gift. Thank you for the cookies, Hime. Anytime. I don't know if she liked them or not. Don't have to be rude. Okay. Needs five tomatoes. Museum. Then maybe I ought to plant these crops really quick before I go mining. Alright, what else do I need? Tomato, grape, shimmer. Yeah, I'm growing all of those, so... Actually, you know what? I should probably do a little bit of MSQ. Have to make the delicate gloves, do all that stuff. I would use because I know that quest takes a while, so. Oh, Shane. Hmm. So, how's your business going? You don't give up, do you? Well, I'm having some trouble for what is worth. Maybe you can help me out. I must find Elios, the sun dragon. I was told he was a large dragon. Didn't think he'd be difficult to find on my own. He's not hard to find. Haven't you asked anyone for help? Like I said, I didn't expect to have any trouble helping. Have any trouble finding him? He is said to be quite legendary. So no, I did not ask for help. Hmm. Forget I ask anything. I'll do it myself. Have you made any friends in Sunhaven yet? Friends? No, I haven't made any friends. But now that you mention it, forming alliances in this land may be beneficial. You could offer me information in this strange and unfamiliar place. See, making friends is good. Right. I was getting ahead of myself, thinking I would do it entirely on my own. It would be easier relying on only myself. But that's not how the world works, is it? I don't think it would be easier. See ya. You remind me a little too much of one of my cousins. Comfort. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, it's just a cashew. Never mind, I don't care. I'm gonna drop a cashew on the ground. All this just to go to Nelvari. I guess Nelvari is Nelvari probably has some of the best music. But I'm a I'm a Withergate girly. The whole game could just be about Withergate, and that would have been a really excellent game all by itself. You're back for that Nelvari tech. Lucia has informed me of your express permission to view the text, and unfortunately I can't really argue with her. Alright, I'll go get the book and you can take a look at it. Yeah, yeah, it's my job after all. All right, here it is. Phew, it really is old. Let's see what it says. Tela the sol sandora, the sos teles, antala bashora, mara eso o lores. Yep, I don't understand a single word in this book. How about you? I have no idea what this says. 
I could have guessed as much. Well, it looks like you went through all that trouble for a book neither of us can read. Heh, <laughs> isn't that funny? Well, I think it's funny. I really need to know what this book says. All right, I don't lose your hair. I have no idea what this says, but I do know of an elf who lives here in Sunhaven. He's almost always drinking at the tavern. He's definitely not from Nelvari or anything like that, but maybe you can go find him and see if he's able to make sense of this. It's worth a shot, at least. I think it's a little unrealistic that I can't do anything about it, considering that I am also an elf. Oh, whatever. Oh, wait, there's nothing here. I thought there would be, like, a little secret passage. I thought wrong! Just saw it. <laughs> eh, farmer, I sense you aren't here to make small talk. What can I do for you? I need some Nelvarian text translated. Can you help me? <laughs> That's awful presumptuous of your farmer. You think just because I'm an elf that means I speak Nelvari? You're an elf too, aren't you? So why can't you speak Nelvarian, huh? Us elves have many different cultures and Nelvarians are about as different as can be. Real secluded and stuck in the old ways, them ones are. Me, my family comes from a quiet fishing village right outside the great city. <laughs> what I'm saying to you, farmer, is that I can't <clears throat> help you. Sorry to bother you. Dang. Hmm. forgot how much this quest is. annoying. So that guy was a bust, huh? Oh well, I guess you tried. What? Don't look at me like that. I helped the best I could. Alright, fine. If you really want to find out what this text says, then there is only one other thing I can think of that would help you. Don't expect this to work, or even be possible, of course, but it is said that there exists a legendary artifact known as the Stone of Tongues. It's an enchanted stone that is capable of allowing those who possess it to understand any language. Sounds ridiculous to me, but it's probably the best shot you have. If anyone knows any more, anything more about the stone, it would probably have to be someone who has traveled around the world and knows a great deal about rare or expensive relics. Perhaps one of the merchants knows. Just don't get your hopes up. Even if the stone exists, what are the odds someone in Sunhaven knows anything about it? I think I may actually know someone like that. Just rearrange those words. Don't mind me. Uh, where is she? All the way up there. Alright. Not much for mining day. It turned into MSQ day. What's that? A stone of tongues? Well, yeah, of course I know what it is. I actually purchased it not that long ago at an auction. A perfectly reputable auction, of course. It was quite the investment, so I'm determined to get my money's worth for one for it once I find a buyer. What? Really? You need it? For a quest that Elios the Sun Dragon himself gave to you? Alright, listen, I've seen you around a few times, and I feel I can actually trust you in it. In fact, if you're willing to do something for me, I'll even loan it to you for the time being. Sound fair? So here's the deal. I actually have no idea where the stone is right now. Don't worry, it's hidden and safe. I just don't know exactly where. Here's a merchant secret. Keep your good stuff hidden. I have Duke run off into the forest and hide all my most valuable pieces. He's great at digging, though his memory is awful, so retrieval is always a process. Go out and find all my treasures and I'll loan you the stone. Fair? Great. Just search around for any disturbed dirt piles in the forest around town and bring my goods back to me. Maybe I'll do this part and then I'll go mining, because I don't need to spend all day on it. I'm not in that much of a hurry to unlock Nelvari. It's so cute. A little frog, a little tongue sticking. 
Ah, it's so cute. There's people who are mad at the developers, like, instead of making DLC, why don't you fix the game or whatever? And I'm like, hello? Um, no, I want more of this. Make all the DLC. Do it. Like, it's so cute. I always wish more games would have these, like, kind of, not quality of life necessarily, but, like, just makes the game so much fun. And it keeps you coming back because there's new stuff to decorate with and do, you know? Oh, what this guy was. Eesh. Yeah, that's gonna be hard. Okay. Always need more logs. Any stacks of treasure up here? I guess not. Ooh, more damaged trees. My goals for the day just keep shifting. crystals I'm getting today. This is nice. I feel like I never get this lucky with elemental crystals. where Nelvari is. It can't be this way with all this, you know, elvish looking stuff. <laughs> Extra eerie. Gosh, mystery. Just don't know. What could that stuff be? That's funny. Oops. more peaches and strawberries this way and then I'll go back. I don't have time to do a teensy bit of mining. Not use because I literally do not have enough mana to use it, but still, it'll be really useful later. Okay, come on, frog. Let's not get stuck, shall we? 
Wait, what, what happened? Okay, I have to give these. I think the library is closing soon, so I couldn't continue anyways, but at least I can get the stone. Yep, I really want to use that spell soon. Look at all this. so far. I guess the Withergate quest has a lot of steps too, but I don't know. Maybe it's just because I care I care more about Withergate than Nelvari, so doing a lot of steps for Withergate is like, yeah, whatever, but doing a lot of steps for Nelvari feels like a slog. Oh, where'd she go? No, she's in her house. Wow. Okay. Um. Oh, it's you, Hime. Come to chat. Yes. Wow, that was pretty fast, all things considered. All right, Hime, a deal's a deal. You can borrow my stone for now. Just let me know how it works, by the way. I was promised you could translate any language, after all. Not that it would necessarily do anything for me. Across all my travels, I picked up a lot of different languages. As it turns out, money talks, but so does good bargaining. Thanks a lot, Anne. Yeah, so we'll go to the library tomorrow. I think I have time to mine a little bit. Like, really a little bit. Just use the two keys I have and see if I can find anything. Oops, somebody's toy. Oop, iron. Maybe I'll just skip the copper axe and go straight to iron it. Whatever, maybe I'll just pass out. It's eleven twenty, it's too late.
Oh, I need one more key. I forgot for the last level. It was worth it. <sighs> hey, good morning. <laughs> you have some really great hair. Alright. Key is to flirt with all of them, even if you aren't gonna marry them. <laughs> Ooh, apples. today. Ooh, movement speed. Nice. Alright. Ooh, thanks, Anne. Money. Feed the animals. I don't have any pet food. Okay, hang on. Food. Well, I watered one thing before I ran out of water. Okay. Ooh, actually, do this. Let me put this stuff in the. water. I only have a little bit of sugar. Or no, no, I don't. It's all wheat, right? Soon I will have a little bit of sugar. How is this kale not ready yet? It looks ready to go. Lame. Refrigerator. Okay. Well, of course the chicken. Let's make more cake mix. Ooh, I need one flour. Oh, 
what time is it? Okay, making pretty good time. Come on. Oh, I do need a water crystal for that one worst. What is iron legs, copper helmet? Probably not gonna be able to do any of those, but. Space in the organic materials bin. Okay. In this area up a little. to the library. I'm sorry, but what? Not only does the Stone of Tongues actually exist, but Anne is planning on selling it? I'm sorry, he may just give me a moment to wrap my head around this. Ah, oh, forget about it. Let's see if this magic rock actually works. Plant a seed inside your bed. Grow a dream inside your head. Sleep in soil, rich and dark. Leaves coiled up in bedtime bark. Well, now that we at least know what it says, maybe someone can give us some context on it. I would try talking to Edwin again. Maybe he knows what it means. Not like you have to listen to me, though. As for the stone, I'll take it back to Anne for you. I'd love to give her my thoughts on her business plan. Your glasses, little lady. Talk to Edwin at the tavern. And here starts the silly quest to grow grapes. Lots and lots of grapes. Do you like cookies? Probably not. Well, look at that. Thanks for the cookies. Don't mention it. Still don't know who I want to date in this game. There's so many. Might wait for Kai to show up. <laughs> well, your mysterious Nalvari text is nothing but a common elven lullaby. My mum and pop used to sing it to me every night to lull me off to sleep. <laughs> I could tell you what I think it means, but that'll cost you. Let's say this, I got a tab open with Mari for my drinks. She's been on me lately about paying it off. You pay off my tab for me and I'll explain everything. Simple, right? <laughs> You've got a deal. What's that, hun? Did Edwin really con you into taking care of his tab for him? Well, I won't stick my nose into your business or anything like that. All I'm concerned with is his, his tab gets taken care of, really. If it's gonna be you who does it, then all the same to me. How much does he owe? Well, here's the thing, dear. It isn't how much he owes so much as what he owes. When Edwin opened the tap with us, instead of paying in coin, he promised he'd cultivate some special elven grapes as payment. Elven grapes? That's right, it's grapes. I wanted to try my hand at brewing my own juice, so the aspect of doing that with some special elven grapes was very exciting. Sadly, since opening his tab, Edwin has failed to grow even a single vine for me. You're a farmer, so I guess maybe you can handle it instead. Makes no difference to me who grows them, at least. I just want my grapes. I'll talk to Edwin. <laughs> Mari is a good person, but humans sure can be pretty gullible. Of course I promised to grow her some elven grapes. I just forgot to mention that I don't know how to grow them. It was an honest mistake. <laughs> really. 
You're the farming type, aren't you? Well, let's see if you can sort it out then. <laughs> back in my home village, us elves had a saying. In common speak, it translates to, you scratch back my back, I'll scratch yours. What do you think? <laughs> take these grape seeds and grow them at your farm. Don't worry, farmer, they're magical elven grapes. They'll only take a single night to grow. <laughs> oh, heh. <laughs> All right. I'm about to make a bunch of money. I this frog brings me so much joy. Put its little face. Alrighty. I don't have to plant all of them, they just want me to plant 40 of them, so I'll have some left over. Need four more. Water the grapes, water the grapes. Do, do, do. Really, it ran out before my very last one. Okay. okay. There we go. Turn this into Pinto. Yeah, plenty of space. go mining. Or actually, you know what? Maybe I'll go up north and do that other, the Withergate quest too. Let's do that. I mean, technically they're both kind of in the same area because Pinto is in this direction. Where's he at? Or Pinto. I don't remember what all this quest needs. So. Oh wait, you're Hime, aren't you? Lucia relayed you're allowed to pass to the north. I don't know why, but orders is orders. You have clearance to pass. Just try to be careful out there, farm er, adventurer. Thanks, I'll be safe. Hey hey. Sir, what should we do about this big ugly thing? Do you think it's trying to invade Sunhaven? These things are all over the place these days. Best to be safe and keep an eye on it while I make a report, though. Yes, sir. 
Oh, it's you, Hime. A giant sleeping monster is blocking the road ahead. It appears docile, at least for the moment. We have the situation under control, but I wonder if you know what to do. Heh, <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Let me take a look. This fluffy chonker might move if I bring it something it likes. Ooh, ten potatoes and ten wheat. I got plenty of wheat, but I'll no potatoes. Cool. Potatoes. I have a few. Need to buy some more potato seasoning. Seems like a good day for farming, not that I would really know. It's good to see you about. Fresh air sometimes clears my head, but it isn't working today. I guess I don't mind seeing a familiar pace on my walk, though. What are you working on these days? Oh, just a hopeless piano composition to revolutionize music as we know it. I hope your day ends on a good note, Claude. That would be a first. Oh wait, good note. I get it. That's actually not a bad joke, Hime. I'll take that as a compliment. I don't mean to offend, it's just that most people aren't funny to me, just annoying. I'm surprised you aren't annoying me, that's all. That's nice. Potato seeds. Oh, of course, tomatoes go on sale after. I don't need them anymore. Well. There goes all my money again. Mining always goes on the back burner. More potatoes. Get rid of this thing. Come on. Little bit more. Okay, it looks like it is possible for me to cut this down. It's just gonna take a lot. Well, actually, I don't know if it is possible. Too slow. No, okay.
be, by the way. Mm. Oh, that's too far. Okay. Enough time to do a little bit of mining. Famous last words. more movement speed today. Well, I think I've already been here, so I think I already got everything. But I need one to move on to the next level, right? I think copper. Oh wait, no, I haven't been here yet. about where iron starts showing up, right? Let's see. Okay, let's be a magical, let's be a magical swordsman, shall we? Boxes, man. Okay, oops. Okay, I think I can make it back. That'll be a bit of a bit of a struggle, but I think I can do it, especially since I have the added uh, movement bonus uh, movement speed bonus today. I think I can do it. Go frog. Eleven fifty is very long. It's possible. It's possible. Ooh. 
Yes, look at that. Amazing. When did I leave the mine? 11.20? Dang. Ooh. <gasps> Remember, Hime, true power grows from within. Keep honing your skills and you will achieve the strength to do anything. Yay! Look at that. Neato burrito. Grew all my crops. Rarg. Yeah, okay. Oh. Grapes are dead. What? I have this trick that turns them back into seeds. Does it take a very long time? Yes. Is it worth it for all the money I'm going to make? Also, yes. So I am right clicking with the hoe here, so it unhoes the ground and it turns these back into seeds. So the only one I lose is that one from the very beginning. I do have to re-hoe the ground, but hey, I get EXP from doing that too. So it's a win-win situation. Okay, well... What went wrong? <laughs> Ooh. Sells for a lot. I don't know if I was supposed to do anything else with that. Just doing farmer stuff. that I get the XP for watering in this game because watering is hard work.
I don't know really what I'm supposed to do with that. sugar I think I can finally make a cake whatever makes me the most money that's the one raspberry pie money to start this quest, this dude's quest to get him off my farm. So much stuff here. Rarg! Rarg! Would you please leave my farm? Rarg! Okay. Get to talk to Lynn and Nathaniel. Frog, let's hit the road. Ooh. Oh, yay! Yes, good. Thank you. Thanks. People just randomly giving me all these things. Appreciate it. Alrighty. Um. Lynn is there. Nathaniel. Ugh, okay. I'll go talk to Lynn, and then I'll go that way because I have to talk to Edwin and Nathaniel and it's in the same spot. Oh, hello. There's a giant rock monster on your farm? Oh, so Lynn warned me that sometimes wild elementals will grow angry and out of control. I'm happy to help you, but I don't have my pickaxe at the moment. Oh, sweet. He's right there. Hmm, what can I do for you? Yeah, Lynn's pickaxe? Okay. Nice. See you there. That's convenient. All right. Back to town. Ooh, a loom. New record. Okay. We'll see. Am I not getting any of these done? Oh, apparently I can't talk to him. Ah! Actually... I've got a lot of these. Oh. Oh. Of course, we're proud to welcome such an esteemed farmer to Sunhaven. Truly, it is our honor. The honors ours are to mage. Um, Sunhaven's fame and prestige reaches all the way to the heavenscape. To know our humble town has achieved such notoriety even in the home of the angels, truly it is we who is honored. What's happening? Oh, Hime, you're just in time to meet the Sunhaven's esteemed visitors. Who are they? This is Douyun. Do Douyun? A prof- Douyun? Douyun? A professor of the great academia and one of the most distinguished scholars on magic. He and his family will be staying in Sunhaven while he conducts research here. Isn't that exciting? It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Hime. May I ask what it is you do in Sunhaven? I am Sunhaven- well- Oh, you know, fishing, mining, woodcutting. I see. You have many talents at such an age. Very impressive. Well done. Oh, Professor, you, didn't you mention in your letter that you had a daughter? She's staying with you, is staying with you, is she not? Hmm. Speak of the angel. She's late. Oh, I wasn't expecting. I. I'm sorry. You have kept the archmage waiting, Mion. 
Didn't your father tell you how important this meeting would be? You're right, mother. I'm sorry. I lost track of time and I... I... Enough. Doesn't matter now. You must learn to show up on time, Mion. Oh, dear. It's all right if Mion was a bit late. It isn't like I... Please, please, Archmage. You have a busy schedule. Mion does not. I think it's really okay. I've taught my daughter to respect the time of others. I expect her to act like it. I'm sorry. I've ruined everything, haven't I? Please, everyone, let me be the first to welcome Mion to Sunhaven. Yeah. Welcome, Mion. Uh, oh, hello to both of you, too. I've been... well... Shall the new family like to accompany me on the tour of the town? There's lots to show. That sounds lovely, Archmage. Lead, lead the way, please. <laughs> of course. Right this way, everyone. And thank you for taking the time to meet Doyun and his family, Hime. That's how I roll, Lucia. First, you must simply, simply must visit our library. He's got a crush on me. <laughs> I'm pretty cute. Can't blame her. Oh, Nathaniel. Sweet. How goes it? Giant rock monster on your farm? Hmm, I can see why that'd be a problem. Spare me the rest of the details. Let's get to work. Uh, well, could you just let Rosa know I'll be busy for a bit? Then I'll head to your farm on the double. Thank you, Nathaniel. Hey there, Hime. of farming. Yeah. Hmm. Sheep and pigs, huh? Maybe later. Rosa. Oh, the bee lady. She's cute. What's that? Captain was going to help you out on your farm with the giant rock monster? Hmm. All right, it is what it is, I suppose. You can tell the captain that I'll handle things while he's out. Can do, Rosa. Report back to Nathaniel. He stole. Oh, no piece left. Where's he going? Hey. Hey there. Ah, so Rosa knows I'll be busy on your farm. Excellent. Let's get to work. Oh, right. I need to make one more key. At least I'll have some armor. Mm. Alrighty. 
bits to go. If I should finally be opening these other things. Oh, I'd rough to talk to Edwin at the tavern, whatever. Okay. Okay, put all these clothes in there too. There we go. Successfully opened all of my things. All of my DLC things. All my mounts there. Keep these, I'll put those outside. Oh, I missed a thing. these away. Okay, I think that's good. All right, um, I think I have the key. Oh, let me put these guys down. animals wandering around the farm for funsies. Yay! Talk to Edward. 
open at the tavern. I'll do that tomorrow. Gotta do some more mining. I want some more iron and stuff. Yay, the next level. Iron! And other things. easier to kite with that fireball spell. Don't have to waste all of my mana. No iron keys, which means that I have to break rocks until I find the rusty key. No, that was easy. Oh, oops. Ready. Coming over here, man. Okay. No, oh, you win some of these.
iron ore. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, that was a lot. Well, I don't think I have time to use the rusty key. I would do want to finish off this floor, though. I think I can live without the copper. I don't know if I'll make it. Let's find out. Let's see how fast I can go. <laughs> don't have that bonus today. There's no way. Like, surely not. Now you can see how long 11.50 is. Ugh. Nope. Nah. It's pretty close. Alright. It's just money. Bye. Only time I get to talk to him is when I pass out. See? <laughs> it's raining. I don't have to water my crops. Uh. Hmm. Have I been missing birthdays? Whoops. Oh yeah, me on. Yep. Rock hard. Oh, they're hard at work. Okay. in the fridge. I did. I should always keep it. Okay, so I got both of those. I guess today is a good day to go talk to Edwin and take care of this nonsense. Skip right up to Iron Axe, which was one of my big goals. A table, B e box. Forgot about the jam maker. Did I make the jam maker? I guess not. Okay, well, I need more wood.
Okay. Oh, dude. Okay. This is the refrigerator. Edwin. Oh, I forgot to check how many potatoes I have. Let's see. Oh, carrots. There's a harp. It's pretty. This is going to be the last day that I play uh, Ruin the Game because I have to get ready for the event that I'm going to later. Um, so I'm just going to get through this day and then that'll be it for today. Yeah, we need manners. Lucia. Slay five leafies. Oh, I've done. I've slayed so many of those, but okay, sure. Okay, Lucia. Get Lucia to teach me how to use manners. <laughs> Visit the town hall lobby, okay. Hello, Hime, are you ready? Yes. Yes, I understand. It's an extension of our essence. A little lost. Thought it might be diff a little difficult to understand. It's okay, Hime. I think you'll find it easier to grasp if you actually give it a try. Here, do you see this potted flower? It has long since withered, wilted, but with mana you can revitalize it. Try and see if you can concentrate your mana to infuse this plant. I know it is a very large concept, but try to think of it as the smooth motion of a simple task, like swinging your axe or maybe like pushing a button. You'll know if it worked, believe me. Now try your focus, Hime. Wow, you did it! So quickly, too. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but I can't help myself. Very well done, Hime all there is to it. That's the basic idea, yes? Infusing mana, mana is more than just a menial task, though. It's the sharing of energy and life. At least that's what my grandfather said about it. And he was right about that. Mana is energy. If you're feeling low on it, eating food is a great way to refuel. So if you ever plan on using a lot of mana, be sure to bring plenty of food. Have you ever watched a group of people work at casting a spell and then break for a snack? There's so many dirty plates afterwards. <laughs> The last thing I will share is that a single mana infusion will not drain much of your mana, but be aware that multiple infusions can very quickly add up. If I had to estimate how much energy one infusion takes, I would say five mana. Does that all make sense? Yep. Mana potions, thank you. And he's going to give me more grapes. <laughs> Oh, wrong way. Where am I going? Yeah, but today's a good day to plant them because I don't have to water them. Like I planned it. I did not. Hello again? Eh, what's that you look in your eyes for? Did the Arch Minister teach you all about mana infusing? <laughs> good. I suppose you're ready to try growing those grapes again, eh? Lucky for you, I have more seeds right here. Right. I have to infuse them all too. It's gonna take a minute. Oh, hello. Oh, it's you. Oh, so sorry. It's well. I I'm sorry. See ya.
Like we needed a character that's even more shy than um, Lynn somehow. Okay. Here we go. That seems like a waste of a mana potion. I've got 49 grapes, which I can grow later. I don't want to, like, have it take over. Or in my way, tree. Some of these hardwood trees to clean up, clean up, clean up. Nice. What this? Come on.
Alright, you. Oh, it's so much faster and with a better tool. Clear up, clear up, clear up. Nice. Use out of the way. Okay. We'll finally clean my farm up a bit more. It was looking pretty overgrown. I wasn't in a huge hurry, but since I have better tools now, I might as well work. has always been in the way whenever I had to water the plants. Finally, it'll be calm. Ooh, I have to go to the museum, drop this off, and then go from there. Next time I play the game, I can harvest those grapes. It's exciting. Oh, that's the library the museum. There it is. I need left. Tomato, grape, shimmer root. Okay. Working on it.
northeast. That's a lot of EXP just for picking some fruit. The music never stops, except when we're closed. Funny. Ten wheat, ten potatoes. For that snack food. Two potatoes. All right, well, maybe. Hmm. Be nice if I could go ahead and infuse all of them. I don't think I have quite enough mana for them. We'll make some more yucky juice. I've gotten more dandelions, I think. Ooh, it's 11.50. Oh. Didn't manage to plant quite all of the grapes, but I planted most of them, so I'll be making a good chunk of money, I think. I think I saved them to put into food, but even just selling them by themselves is a lot. Yeah, look at that cake That's where all the money is at. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. 
thank you so much for sticking around and watching me play. Um, it was nice to progress. And I'll pick up where we left off next time. I'm not sure if I'll stream tomorrow. I'll try to. It'd be nice if I do. Um, but if not, then I will catch you guys on the next stream, at least on Tuesday. Okay. All right. Bye.